interrupting. I better watch my step. It is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth, like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <laughs> Can thou endure? The urge flows into the strands of the weave, leaving only a sense of calm. Thou hast done well, for what is a laugh if not one step toward madness? <laughs> She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there, and thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> A ghost? <laughs> I am sunlight on water, dew on grass. Sharon's broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home, it is written. Etched on its face is an image of the dawning sun. I shall walk with thee. I shall grant you my power. <laughs> Beneath the rampant joy, you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. You recognize the symbol. It belongs to those sworn to Lathander, god of dawn and renewal. Whatever madness this spirit suffers was inflicted by Lathander's enemies, followers of Shah. And this madness may flow into you. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades.
I have all the... Look, Investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Shitey little elephant. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill mater. You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning, the investigator won't change her mind without significant new evidence. Charette's caress would be my best bet. That's her usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be a start. Anything disproving the refugee murder suicide angle, really. I can tell you where to find her, but she won't be very chatty, I'm afraid. Shira passed away last year, peacefully, mind. We buried her in the crypt under the temple, if you wish to visit. I really hope you find something, for all our sakes. This must be where Shira Klawan is buried. Here lies Sister Shira Klawan. Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. <laughs> Shira, faithful to the crying god. Long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh! <laughs> Shall it be thou? Try 
as you might, you can't intuit the price of bearing the monk's madness. <laughs> your muscles tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. Madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. The urge to laugh dwindles. You can't help but chuckle. You withstood the monk's madness and earned Tasha's hideous laughter. My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May laughter be thy gift, never thy curse, the Morning Lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The corpse is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. He's gone. Well, he was always good for a laugh. <laughs>